everybody, this is Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and InkNouveau.com. Today I'm going to talk you through the Platinum Mix-Free Super Sampler Set that we've put together at GouletPens.com. And I'm going to show you what it's all about, so let's go check it out. Here we have the Platinum Mix-Free Super Sampler Set that we have set up specifically at GouletPens.com. Now, the Platinum Mix-Free bottles come with 60 milliliters per piece, which is a pretty good volume of ink. So what we've done in order to allow for a more economical purchase, aside from the you know, $150, $160, $170, dollar, whatever price that you're going to pay for an entire set of 60 mil bottles, is we've broken them out into 5 milliliter samples of each of the nine mix-free colors. We figured five milliliters was a good amount for you to be able to play around a little bit and also for us to keep the price down to a pretty reasonable amount. Now what we've also included in the set to help you to have some mixing fun is we've included 10 of the empty Goulet vials that you've uh, seen before along with 10 labels, blank labels, so you can label whatever mixture you come up with. Uh, also we've included two of the uh, Goulet ink syringes which uh, I have another video on the Goulet ink syringes there. So this is the Goulet ink syringe set. So all in all it's pretty good value for what you're getting and that was the idea is that you could really dive in and play around with some of these without having to make too significant of an investment. Now, um, what I've done is I've done some swabs of each of these colors. Now, these colors may not be entirely accurate because of the camera here. I've got color adjusted swabs on our website, but um, the nine colors are, Aurora, are uh, aqua blue, aurora blue, cyclamen pink, earth brown, flame red, which is really kind of pink, leaf green, Silky Purple, Smoke Black, and Sunny Yellow. Now, supposedly you're supposed to be able to mix all of these inks to create essentially any type of ink color that you want. Now, I'm no professional yet because as of the making of this video, I've had these inks in my possession for two days. So I still have plenty of playing around to do, and most of the people that have ordered these sets haven't even gotten them as of the making of this video. So what I'm eager to see after I post this is what kind of cool mixtures everybody comes up with. So I'm going to demonstrate to you just kind of making up on the fly. I've never mixed these before, literally. Um, so I want to come up with a mixture just on the fly, and I want to see kind of how it turns out. So I'm just going to pick, um, let's see, I'm going to see how, I kind of want to try sunny yellow, and what else? I don't know. Let's go with silky purple. What the heck? I have no idea what this is going to do and how it's going to look. Purple and yellow? Yeah. Oh, God. What's wrong with purple and yellow? What? It's gonna be ugly. What do you mean it's going to be ugly? <laughs> Come on. Okay, Rachel's screaming from the other room that it's going to be ugly. But now I'm even more determined <laughs> to try my my silky purple and sunny yellow. Okay. Um, hey, I just noticed it's like JMU colors too. Rachel's, Rachel's sister went to JMU, so she'll be happy with that. Okay, so I'm going to take my ink syringe here, which uh, it, the needle, it's a blunt tip needle. It, uh, it says single use only on the syringe. Ignore that. These are adapted from the medical field, and uh, in the medical field, they're single use only, but for ink, they'll last a really long time. You can clean them and reuse them. So I'm going to take my little spare vial here. I'm going to open up my sunny yellow, which is the first of my two great colors that I've selected. I'm yelling at Rachel in the other room there. Okay. I'm only going to draw up maybe half a milliliter if I can. We'll see how skilled I am at this, at measuring somewhat precisely. Now, I think this is going to turn out pretty ugly anyway, so I'm not going to get too exact here. But I can tell just from that I've drawn the ink up to about a half a milliliter. Okay, well that was more than half, but whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to draw the same amount from the silky purple. Now the reason we include two syringes 
is so that you don't have to clean out the syringe in between the two. If we only give you one syringe, then you would have to clean it out before you could finish your mixture. So at least this way you can mix one color at a time. All right. Okay, that was way more than half, but <laughs> I still got to get my precision down a little bit, I guess, on mixing these things. But anyway, here is my mixture of something close to probably, well, it's actually more like a milliliter of each color. And then I'm just going to give it kind of a gentle shaking. And uh, I don't really know what this is going to look like, to be quite honest with you. It's kind of a surprise. That's kind of, I think, going to be the fun part of doing all this ink mixing is you never know exactly what you're going to come up with. So let's see here. Let me grab my uh, dot pad. I may actually ink this up. I'm not sure. I'll see how long the video goes. Oh, I'm on five minutes so far. It's not too bad. Okay. So I've got, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just swab it real quick just so I can get an idea of what this color is looking like. Okay. Now here is your silky purple and the sunny yellow and mixed combined. I'm just going to do a quick swab. I bet it's going to look awesome. Rachel, if this looks awesome, you're going to totally eat your words. Okay. Hey, brown. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a reddish brown. But it's got kind of like a yellowish, obviously, like a yellowish tinge to it. I don't know. That's an interesting, interesting color. Hmm. Okay, well, I want to see what it looks like in a pen. So I have my uh, Lamy All-Star here. That uh, for those of you that saw my uh, video on if Lamy and Platinum converters are interchangeable, which they are not, uh, I got the trim ring from the Platinum converter stuck in my Lamy pen. And uh, this is the pen that it was stuck in. I finally got it out before making this video. So I'm just going to draw a little bit of ink up in here. And I want to see how this looks in a pen. I'm betting it's going to look about like it does on the paper. But it's interesting though, it's not like a straight brown, Rachel. I don't know. It's it's gonna it's gonna take some adjustment to really find some some good uh, balance of colors. Okay, I've got pen parts all over the place here. Alright. Let me close this up because I know in a lot of my videos I tend to leave the inks open and it freaks everybody out. Okay, so let me test it out here. Lamy. All star. And this is with half silky purple and half sunny yellow. It looks a little bit darker than it does in the swab. Um, you know, this isn't such a bad color, to be honest with you. It's kind of cool. It's more of like a, Rachel, it's more of like a red than a brown, really. Um, it's very interesting. Anyway, uh, that's a, just an example of how you mix up these inks. Uh, you're going to come across some duds, for sure, <clears throat> like I might have done here. But you're also going to mix up some colors and come up with some really cool ones. And those are the ones... Well, actually, I was going to say those are the ones that I want to hear about, but I really want to hear about them all. So I'm really excited to start some cool conversations about these inks, uh, both good and bad. But either way, hopefully this has been a demonstration to you of what the ink sampler set uh, can do for you, the super sampler set. And just a comparison here, um, I've got one of our normal ink vials, which we have two milliliters here. And uh, to give you a comparison, the five milliliters is filled uh, quite a bit more, as you can see there. It's two and a half times as much. Uh, and the uh, the mix-free inks, we are still going to offer them in two milliliter samples as well. So if you get a super sampler and you want to just get a little more of one color and not buy a whole other set, you can do that just by getting the individual two mil samplers. But uh, this is a good way for you to kind of get started and start playing around with these inks. Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully this is something that's uh, appealing and interesting to you all because we've kind of just come up with this thing on, on the fly to see uh, if we can get people talking about this ink. Hope this video was helpful for you, and I hope the uh, mix-free super sampler set is something that uh, looks like interesting to you. If you have any questions about it or anything on the mix-free line, or really anything at all related to writing, you can always email me at brian at Thanks a lot, and write on.